there is so much pollution that we, an island nation, cannot even swim in our own seas. That's uh, ridiculous. England and Wales, let me just be precise, became the first places in the world in the world to have a fully privatised water and sewage system. It never was popular. It was always seen as absurd. The biggest water company in Britain has a debt of 14 billion and no way of paying it down. And we think that Thames Water is about to go into administration. This is just an absolute classic example of where privatisation goes wrong. There is no competition in each region for the water companies. The company is owned by a number of pension funds and sovereign wealth investors, including the BT Pension Scheme, the Canadian Funds, OMAS and British Columbia Investment Management Corporation, the China Investment Corporation, the UK Lecturers Fund, the USS and when it was privatised, the British water infrastructure had no debt. Since then, they've borrowed £53 billion. Much of this has been used to help pay some £72 billion in dividends. Interest rates are now rising rapidly. And what have we got for it? We've got a water system which is, has huge problems in terms of the quality of the infrastructure, leaks, relatively little new investment, and a situation where consumers are now facing enormous spikes in their water bills just at a time when everything else in terms of cost is going through the roof. Do you remember when waterborne diseases used to sound like something from the Victorian era before we discovered last year there was actually shit in our sea? Right? Yeah. I mean, that's where we are now.